morning. It has been so long since I filmed a video because I was in my last semester of college trying to do finals and then I was wedding planning. Life was crazy, okay? I'll give you a recap later, but for now, I've decided I'm gonna go for a walk this morning before I get started on some of my work that I have to do. And it's kind of chilly, so let's pick an outfit. A different filming location well that is because I moved out of my college apartment first of all second of all we got married when was that like three weeks ago oh three weeks ago today oh that's cute anyway my grandparents have been gracious enough to let us stay in their basement for about a month before we have to move to Georgia to go to Daniel's training we move in less than two weeks. Things are crazy around here. I'm gonna do some other stuff today. I figured I haven't picked up my camera in forever, so I might as well. And maybe I'll try and make another video next week, who knows? But for now, we're gonna start with this one and see how it goes. I'm gonna try and walk about two miles. That's what I did last time, so let's get it. This is my grandma's dog, Rudy. He's sleepy, I think. <laughs> I don't have my Apple Watch on because I desperately need a new band. So I'm just going till it feels good. I do have a route kind of mapped out of like one mile and then I come one mile back. So it makes two. I do kind of miss wearing my Apple Watch. butter banana protein smoothies almost every single day either for breakfast or for lunch and they are so so good and they're so easy and quick to make so i'm gonna make one now and show you how i make it because it's you know how sometimes you get fixated on eating toast i'm fixated on the shake right now like i just want it every day if i could make two a day i probably would Why is it breaking in half like that? There you have it. It's so good every time. It never misses. You never can mess it up. Sometimes if I'm feeling really interesting, I'll add some chocolate, but today was not one of those days. Mm. I hate to say that I've been having this routine because I've maybe been doing this routine for like the past week because things have been crazy. We've gone to so many weddings and we've been traveling ever since we got back from our honeymoon to different weddings and we have upcoming weddings and it's just crazy. I'm trying to stay on top of some of my business venture things. So basically I have started doing UGC, which is user generated content where essentially I make an ad or a video to go on a brand social media page. It can either be run as an ad or it can just be a static in feed post. As a viewer, and as a consumer you trust a brand more when they use real people and you know that you know maybe you don't think that it's an ad even though it might be you trust the face of a normal person like me more so than you would trust like maybe a huge super well-known celebrity or model that you know is getting paid for those videos that's what i've been doing lately and i've been loving it it's so much fun because i just love making videos and i love promoting things so it's just been super super fun it's been hard though i won't lie i'll probably make a video on udc in the future and how i got started and stuff like that because everybody's journey is different but it's been so fun so far i haven't made a ton of money from it in all transparency, but it's definitely made me some and it's paid for certain things and that has been a huge blessing. But I'm also trying to get into the world of social media management and do freelancing in that 
capacity as well. Basically, my brain is all over the place and I am entrepreneurial. I have an entrepreneurial spirit at heart. So I just want to do everything at once. Like I can't just focus on one thing. Basically, I'm doing a guinea pig month with my sister and her travel agency page. And I am working on her social media by giving her a content calendar. I have this whole package set up, okay? I'll probably make another video on that too. This time of the day after I either work out or make breakfast or whatever, I will sit down and check what I need to do for the day, do for work. Today is going to be a UGC focus day because I have some scripting to do and I'm gonna try and film a video as well. So I'm gonna work on planning while I finish my shake here. I don't know whether to call it a shaker smoothie, but I keep going back and forth and it's a shake right now, I guess. I forgot to mention that I am using Notion now if you were looking at my computer screen. I've never been a Notion girl because I could never figure out the platform and how to add widgets and all this stuff. Like it was just so confusing. The more tutorials that I watched on YouTube, the more confused I got. So I just gave up on Notion. But you know, the other day I sat down and I was like, this is happening. I'm using Notion because everyone swears by it. I will figure it out. I'm determined and I did. So it took me hours to make this page and other pages within my page but i'll give you guys a notion tour if you're interested but i just am loving my little setup here it's just really cute and it's very helpful very organized everything's in one place i'm a huge planner so if i could have like five lists going at one time i i would thrive off of that honestly so this is really nice Before I can start scripting my video, I have to see what the product actually looks like. So I got this package from a Fiverr client, which is a freelancing platform, and I'm doing UGC for them for the second time. They're a returning client. So I'm going to open the package, but I need to film it in case I need to use that in my video. So I'm going to film my unboxing before I get to scripting. Done. Okay, it's this cat t-shirt company. They support like cats with special needs or something. Um, so she makes shirts and proceeds go to a certain charity or foundation. And I don't have cats, but I'm out here filming for a cat company. <laughs> so basically now that I've seen the shirt, I'm gonna go through and make a script based off of what they told me they wanted. Okay, I just put on a little bit of makeup and the shirt in question, so I'm going to read over the script and then find some good lighting, record the audio, and then work on my b-roll and stuff like that. So I need to find a good spot that doesn't have a ton of stuff in the back. I have to get my tripod. This thing is amazing, by the way. I got it for like 30 bucks on Amazon. Best investment. Done. That didn't take me long at all. It was only a 15 second video, so it was like easy peasy. I don't know if that transition is gonna work. I think it works better with like smaller items. Oh, it might look so goofy. Oh, I'm scared to try it. my spot. I just finished editing on CapCut on my phone and now I'm gonna go to Fiverr and go ahead and submit that and see if she approves it. 
Hopefully she does, and if not, it's okay. I can make a quick revision, but I'm gonna go ahead and sip in that and then probably eat lunch and take a break for a minute. Okay, I just made this salad for lunch. It looks amazing, and I have the Chick-fil-A avocado lime ranch to go on top of it, plus some croutons. My Fiverr video that I just submitted got approved, so the money was approved for that. And now I have to script some other videos, make some other content for my social media management client. I have to go to Best Buy because I forgot that I broke my SD card reader and I won't be able to edit this video if I can't read my SD card. It's a little bit later. I've cleaned up. I worked on some more content creation things for social media and now I've decided it's time to go to Best Buy and get the SD card reader because I need to get out of the house. I need to get some sun. I just need to move out of the basement. I brought some cookies for on the go. I love that my car is still playing jazz music from earlier. A couple weeks ago, we found this playlist called Honeymoon Beach that we were listening to at Hilton Head, and it was like the perfect vibe for what we were wanting because it was our honeymoon at the beach. So I've been enjoying it for summertime. Okay, I'm putting this down. This one will do. It's only 20 bucks. It's better than I thought it was gonna be. That was so fast. I found it immediately. I kinda wish I was able to dilly-dally a little bit. You know how fun it is to dilly-dally in a store? Hello again. It is way later. I laid down when I got back from Best Buy and that was pretty much it for me. Um, once I lay down, it's a rough time trying to get restarted onto something. But the thing that I do enjoy doing while I'm laying down in bed is editing. That is like one thing that I can still do. So I've actually been editing the video that you're watching right now. It's been really fun. This is actually a lot longer than I thought it was gonna be. I'm already at nine minutes and I'm like not even halfway through my footage. So <laughs> I think it'll probably be like 15. Now that I say that, it's gonna be like almost over. I've been really enjoying this video so far because it's like a glimpse into everything that I enjoy doing work-wise and content-wise. So it's been really fun. I did test out my new SD card reader and it works. So glad. I have been making the thumbnail for this video, which is so cute. It's like my favorite one that I've ever made. It just looks beachy for some reason. Like it's so summery. You can't tell me that that is not summery as all get out. It's just like clean. Anyway, this is most certainly going to be the end of my video because when I tell you that my motivation and productivity declines at dinner time at a exponential rate. I'm worthless after after dinner. I won't do anything except enjoy my evening. And I actually really like that because I like to get myself done during the day. I don't like working at night and I think it's a good balance. So we are having chicken off right over dinner tonight. And then after that, I am not working on anything. We're just gonna enjoy our evening. And then tomorrow's a new day and I get to do it all over again. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you enjoyed following along and I'm gonna be talking more in depth about my freelancing journey soon. So stay tuned for that. But I hope that this productive vlog has potentially motivated you. And if not, that's okay. I hope you enjoyed it anyway. And I I will see you next time. Bye.